Hey there, and welcome back. Um, I've just recorded uh, one of my floss tubes, and uh, time flew. I don't know why, how I can, you know, talk for that long. Uh, I was supposed to show you my stash in that floss tube video, but I'm like eager to take a look at the in the bag what I have because I have no clue. I don't remember what I have in it. So I decided let's do a separate uh, stash video uh, for, you know, the time stash before the time of heaven and earth designs. Because in another video, I'm showing you all my heaven and earth designs stash. The stash I have gotten, you know, fabrics and threads and thread packs Things I've started, you know, Heaven and Earth, I've started uh, some of them. I just, I'm not ever going to continue stitching. Um, and I am going to do a video of uh, which uh, patterns, Heaven and Earth patterns I have. I think I have over a hundred. I'm not sure, but I do think so. So, but since I'm not only stitching Heaven and Earth designs anymore, I'm kind of curious of what I have in my stash bag before Heaven Earth. It's like at least 10, 12 years ago. So let's take a look. And it's in a paper bag, so it's gonna like crackle a lot. I'm really sorry about that. This is so exciting. So, I actually have a finished bag as well. I think we're going to take a look at that as well. Beautiful, right? Yeah, it's not ironed. I guess it's not washed or anything. I remember this took a long time to stitch. It's so beautiful. Maria van Scherenberg. Night. It was called Night. I have the day one as well. I wonder if it's in here. No, it's not. Oh, I stitched this one once. I don't know where it is now. Jesus, that's a lot of threads in here. And I've stitched this one too, but I don't know where that is either. Maybe it's gonna show up. Those were Disney's, yeah. I like Disney's. Oh my God, yeah. I finished this one. I would really like to own this kit again and actually stitch it again. It's Max in the Adirondacks. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I have it rolled up somewhere. It was very nice. It was a difficult stitch. I didn't have a lot of experience from, except, you know, the normal cross stitching and back stitching. Uh, this was really nice. And I made some Egypt ones. I stitched that as well. I framed it, but I think it's up in the attic somewhere. Oh. And this is uh, baptized. Uh, I made this. I, it's crocheting. I made it for my daughter when she was born. Oh, here we have actually the weave where I've finished it. It's still in here. Oh, that was kind of nice. I think. That's a little bit of cranic in there or something, or maybe uh, some metal DMC. That was beautiful. 
I didn't remember this one. So this is not stash, I'm sorry. I started out with kind of finishes. Oh, I remember this one. I love this one. I don't know which is upside. Look at this. How cool isn't this one? So beautiful. I think my sister made this one for me. It's for you hang it in the bathroom and you put the to toilet paper in there. Yeah. Kind of cute. I wonder where I put all the finishes to finished project. So this is the day daylight with the fairies. Very beautiful. I actually rem remember thinking that this was a little bit difficult to stitch. Yeah. It's almost dash time. I'm sorry. We're getting there. You can just fast forward if you don't like it. Oh, yes. Made these two. Whoops. Made these two. For my sister, I framed them so she, it's at her place. And this is also Winnie Pooh, but I don't have the, the fabric. Now. What's this? Oh, is this a Little Friends by Permin of Copenhagen? I know I haven't finished this one. I think, I think my older sister gifted me this one for as a Christmas present. I think, yeah, it's it's a whip. It's a whip. I could actually stitch this. It would be finished in no time. Ha, how nice. I didn't remember. I didn't remember. What I don't like about the old um, cross stitch kits was that you don't get the, um, the patterns like in A4. Um, pieces you get in a big piece of paper and you unfold and fold and unfold and fold and in the end you know the middle of the fabric uh, the paper is gonna break that was nice yeah so let's see I have these four cute little kittens from DMC Oh, it's the camera I see there. And this one. This one. And I think I had, I think I had two of this uh, and I gifted one to Michelle Bendy Stitchy. I was supposed to um, give it to her so she could, you know, auction it. I know. I don't know what things she auctions, if she's also only auctioning for pieces that are unusual or something, but the money she would get for it would go to the Parkinson mm, uh, donation or whatever um, in January. But I think she just put it in the D-stash, which was a little bit sad. I don't know how she worked it out, but I wanted 
you know, even if it would be five bucks or one buck, it would be a donation. Anyway, what do we have here? We have a finished. I thought I only had stash in there. I didn't know I had. Oh, here we have all the finished ones. Cool. This one is so cute. Look. Yeah, that's me taking a bath. And then we have, I love Winnie the Pooh and Tigger. He's my favorite. T I double C R. Yeah, very nice. And there we have the little, I don't know what you call, call it in English. Look how cute that is. All those flowers and the back stitching. Oh my God. Look at the back. It doesn't look that bad actually. Nice. And oh, we have the Winnie, Winnie the Pooh and the, and uh, the piglet. Is it piglet? I think so beautiful. Oh, I would really like to stitch something like this again. Yeah. I want my daughter to, you know, to start stitching and I'm thinking she could do like we need the poo or something. That was nice. Um, what else do we have here? We have a di dimension needle point kit. Leopards, black and white. I think it's just 10 stitching. And the thing is that, yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. Needle point. Yeah, I need, I think I have a frame for it. But you know, the pattern is printed on this. I, I don't like that. why I don't like it. I, I find it difficult actually. My daughter has one of those, my first embroidery stuff. And it's also where the pattern is printed on the weave. And I th sometimes I find it difficult to find, to, you know, see which color to use where I, I rather want, you know, a paper pattern or like a pattern on my surf pad. So maybe I should Crafted with pride in USA. Designed by Sarah Wilkins. Uh, 2002. So it looks like it's American. I don't know. There's threads and everything in there. Maybe I should have it in my giveaway when I hit 500. Uh, subscribers. What do we have here? Oh, the Maya. This is like just before I found out about heaven and earth. I was like, I want more. I want more. I want more challenge. Here is the picture behind. Oh my God. Look at that. Maybe it's better like this. It's so beautiful. Look at those trees. It's like backstitching. And it's a very nice kit. I actually think I lost the pattern. I, I placed it somewhere. I couldn't find it. So I wrote to the company, asked if it would be okay to send me a new pattern. And they did. No questions asked. This is a long time ago. And my God. Pink Ada. <laughs> well, I don't know about that. Yeah. Well, it's a full coverage, so it won't. I don't think it matters. And I'm like, yeah. Here's the new pattern they sent me. I mean, that's uh, Bolton. Is that England? Great Britain, yeah. I mean, seriously, wow. They sent me the new chart, it's just 
yeah and it's kitted up with some threads and then there's all the extra th threads and this was new to me i remember when i received the kit you know seeing uh, i think it's anchor yeah it's anchor i don't i never stitched with that when i received i'm like what there's like 10 15 skeins extra that was totally new to me i didn't i didn't know and then i discovered heaven and earth designs i'm like what there's 200 skeins of cards yes <laughs> so but this is something i definitely want to to stitch I, i'm thinking about it a lot yeah can i close it again no i don't think so so we have it like in a booklet like this it's very nice So what's next? Oh, we have a gold, gold collection. 50% off. It's the Tulip Trio. And I learned yesterday uh, with the stitching with Lana. I don't know. She's on YouTube. Uh, she loves Mirabilia and Dimensions. So she was talking about this and she's told us when the kit looks like this, it's made in China. Yeah, made in China. But to me, it doesn't matter too much, but unopened, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Here we have another gold collection. Oh, and it's the white roses. <sighs> Breathtaking. I don't need to be on the camera, I know, but I need to see how you see it. All fit and kit it up. Uh, this one is made in the States. Nice. What's next? Oh my God. Seriously? <sighs> okay. I'm like freaking titanic fan let's just put it at that and there are no good cross stitch patterns with titanic that i know of i think heaven and earth designs does have a pattern with titanic i'm not sure but it's like this but this one looks like um like there's a poster you know go get a ticket and you know Sail with the Titanic over to the States, you know, looks amazing. I should stitch this. Yeah. Swagert Heritage Stitchcraft. Kit it up and everything, you know. My God. Whoops. Did I move the camera? I have some cleaning up to do when we're done here. Yeah, let's let's keep it like this. What's here? Oh, that's nothing. What's in here? I was learning my teaching myself how to park <laughs> that's when that was something new I have no idea what I'm stitching here oh yes I can't show you it because it's a pattern it's two little mice I will just hold my hands like this She's giving me a kiss. <laughs> but maybe it's like, yeah. 
This is his arm and his hand, and this is her. Yeah. Such tiny little um, kits. Doesn't seem that I have the the picture for it. Let's move on. I didn't know I had this. I was like almost buying it yesterday. Ma Maggie, the the mess maker. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. The gold collection. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's so nice. I think yeah, I've opened it. I'm like that when I get like a kid or something, I need to open it and take a look at it. You know, as I said, feel, smell. I'm not tasting it. Uh, but this is printed and made in the States as well. So I guess it's a little bit older. Nice. I didn't know. That's cool. Oh, yes. I remember this one. It's also the DMC. So cute. Look at this. The cats are cute. But look at that detail there. I have a feeling that I... I don't think I've started it. Oh. Nice. I had a thing for cats before. Yeah. What's next? Permin of Copenhagen. Sailboats. I don't want to be on a boat. I would never like to sail on a boat. I try to avoid them. I try to avoid water. Yeah. I watched Jaws when I was a kid. Don't do that. But it was nice. And it's stitched on dark fabric. Nice. Who needs to buy more stuff when you have all this? Seriously. Oh. Yeah, I remember this. It's also gold collection. It's the buttons and bears. Mm, like this, I think. Yeah. Oh, how cute is that? Oh. I think this is some nice stitching. Yeah. And I think this was gifted to me by my mother-in-law. Very nice, actually. With the creek and the geese. I love geese. No, those are not geeks. They're ducks. But they're cute anyway. <laughs> and I can see... I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. You can see that the tree outside the frame is like backstitched. That's cool. Nice and kitted up. Oh yeah, and this must be the companion piece with the rabbit. Very nice. It's also gifted uh, by my mother-in-law. So that's nice of her. And this one I'm pretty sure I was going to say I've stitched, but I, I haven't. It's also Permian of Copenhagen. I think this uh, Permian of Copenhagen, I think we sell quite a lot of here in Sweden. It's kind of nice with flowers. Nice and kitted. See? It's always Ada. Ada, Ada. Oh, yeah. I don't know why I bought this. But this was, um, I'm like scratching my ear on camera, I'm sorry. Uh, Networks, Barbara Frey designed this. It's the Bluebell Wood. Fine art embroideries from Network. Breathtaking. But <laughs> the thing is, 
Okay, I need to open this. Should I open? No. The thing is... Now I need to see on camera. No, you can't see it, but it's like... Um, it's not a weave, the fabric. It's like a piece of green net, plastic net. So this is not cross stitching. This is obviously embroidery. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to open it up. There you can see a little bit that it's net. It's not fabric. Strange. And I do that sometimes. I'm like, oh, I'm going to challenge myself and do that. And then maybe somebody on YouTube knows and shows how to do it. Then fine. Harrison, another a companion piece. There's a lot of dust in here, so I might start sneezing and everything. This is also, oh, it's so beautiful. I love this nature. It's silver birches. Same designer, Barbara Frey. It's also with the, the net stuff there. Yeah, threads and all. So it's not a lot of thread, I think. Maybe it is, yeah, I don't know. Nice. Let's move on. Ooh, we have the other, the other Maya. Holy Lord, why haven't I started stitching this? I need to open it. I mean, the way they have packed it is just in a plastic sleeve like this. And it's been in the sleeve. Oh my God, so it's stuck. Damn. Huh. You see up here uh, when I'm trying to, it's like glued. Maybe it should be glued. Oh well, it's stitched on light blue, Ida. I think it's a 14 count. No. 16 count, maybe? 16. Nice, nice. Can you even imagine? I don't know if you can see all the backstitching, all the grass is just backstitching. Wow, oh, I'm throwing on the camera. Okay. Hey, another Maya, I did it. Okay, which is this autumn gold. Now the other one was winter sunset and this is what? Blue remembered hills, okay. Okay, here's another Maya. Maya, like, whoops. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, wow. I mean, uh, I can open this one. I'm gonna open this one. Oh, look, I haven't opened it before. Look at all that thread. Oh, pattern it oh. up. I need to start this. What am I doing? Why am I stitching heaven and earth when I can stitch all this? Oh, seriously. Come on. I'm going to grab what's left in here.
And what's this then? Okay. What do we have here? Oh, my daughter could stitch this. It's also a Disney. Three different. Uh, you have everything in there. And I think you get, if I remember correctly, you get a large piece of, uh, of fabric. So you can decide to stitch all of them at one in one piece, like in a row. Or, you know, cut them and make different uh, paintings of it. Oh, sepia kittens by DMC. Lovely colors. Serious. I mean, again, comparing to what we do now, you know, by pattern from Heaven Earth Designs or Mirabilia or a sample or whatever. And then you need to get the fabric and you need to get the threads and you need to kit it up and you need to organize the threads and that's what's kind of cool with these packs is that you know you're kind of ready to go oh yes this is one of my favorites also by dimensions it's called too pooped <laughs> yeah and the signer is charles Waisaki printed and made in the States. So it's all threads and stuff in here. Very nice. Too pooped. Oh yeah. It's also a favorite with the giraffes. Um, I have the pattern. I don't know where the front of the design is. We're throwing it away. Yeah, I don't know. And this is how you knit uh, small cuddling bears. Yeah. That's it. That's the stash I had. I was very surprised by the uh, the Maya uh, kits. I have the three kits. I knew I had two. I'd forgotten the third one. And I really enjoy the gold collection. Uh, the one uh, Maggie the Messmaker and... Um, The buttons and bears, yeah, that's the name. Oh, and the flowers, of course. The tulips and the roses, beautiful. They're all beautiful. <laughs> so that was cool. Well, uh, I finally made this uh, video and took a closer look to my old stash, which, which was very nice. I, I realized that some of them are my, maybe out of print, I don't know. But uh, no, I don't think I will ever um, like sell it. Not the way I feel now when I t saw them. And I'm like, I really want to stitch it. And especially if, you know, the projects are smaller than, for example, if you would do a winter sunset in heaven and earth, it would be like taking you forever. So it felt like maybe, you know, it's doable and the effects in these uh, kits are, you know, the backstitching and I guess there are some French noddings and I don't know. There's a lot of specialty, specialty stitches. I have no clue how to make. And 
that is the challenge but that's what makes it all look pretty nice um then there was the the black and white uh, leopard um which is i guess 10 stitching is okay but it was printed on the weave and i'm like mm, i guess no i don't think i would ever stitch it and then we have the um the two kits with the that didn't have fabric but it has some a netting instead uh, which is fine well I, I don't know maybe someone out there knows how to whatever maybe i should just uh keep them for a upcoming giveaway you know after 500 there's a thousand and we'll see um yeah that's all uh i love stash videos i love to watch them so i hope you guys enjoyed this stash stash video <laughs> i've been talking english too long now because now i can pronounce the words properly everyone i wish you a happy day have a good one see you soon bye thank you for watching <laughs>